Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Homemade Family Fun. And today is going to be a very, very exciting episode because very soon I'm going to be launching a new series on my channel. But I'm not gonna be telling you what it is today, but um, at the end of the month, I'm going to be putting out my first episode, so I'm super excited. But for the next two episodes, while we're waiting, I'm gonna be giving you clues of what my series is going to be about. So the first, we're gonna be making elote, which elote is a very, very popular Mexican snack. It's like in New York where there's a hot dog stand on every corner. That's pretty much how it is for elote, which it's like corn on the cob, but Mexican style. <laughs> and it is super delicious, so let's get started. And since it's summer, this is actually a really good recipe to add to your grill-in menu. I mean, like for a cookout or a barbecue um, with family or friends, this is definitely a good one to do, I recommend. So what you're gonna be needing for this is, of course, corn on the cob or in the husk or whatever you wanna do. Then you're going to need some uh, mayonnaise. You can use, if you're not a fan of mayonnaise, you can use crema or sour cream, things like that. Then we're going to be using um, tajin, which is a really popular just chili powder that people put on a lot of stuff here, like fruit, elote, um, all kinds of stuff like this. Then you're going to be needing some skewers, and I'm going to eventually show you some cheese that we're going to be using for it. All right, so you can either um, boil or grill um, your corn, whatever style you want to do it. And then I'm going to show you how to put it together. So while we are waiting for our corn to cook, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about these stands. Here's a little video of my dad and I getting some. And literally people will line up like from a, for like a block to get some of this corn. That's how good it is. <laughs> Alright, so now it's time to assemble it, and the cheese I'm going to be using is Parmesan. I know, I know, for all my Mexican watchers out there, probably like, wait, but that's not the normal cheese that you always put on it. But I was trying to find a cheese that um, people in America would um, be able to find, so I used, I'm going to use Parmesan cheese, but really you just need like a dry, crumbly cheese for this. Um, but and it, if you live to a close uh, Mexican store, you can also get some of the um, original cheese that they use for um, elote. So first, we're going to be taking our mayo or crema, whatever you want to use. And I'm just using a tool that I can spread it with. Really, you can use a spoon, whatever you want to do. And just go around and put plenty of it on. All right, so now I've got it covered in mayonnaise, and I also mentioned, or I wanna mention that I did put the skewer in. So now we're going to put our cheese in, and we're just gonna sprinkle it on. Don't be afraid to put a lot in there. All right, so now I've got my cheese on it, and I'm gonna take some of our tahini and just put a little on. And there you have it, the Mexican street corn, elote. <laughs> All right, now let's give it a taste. Mm, that is so good. Wow, that's actually like really, really good. I definitely recommend making this. It's really, it tastes so like so many flavors but really it only has like three pretty much to add on to this and you can put your own personal twist if you don't want to add cheese if you don't want to add tahini whatever you want to do i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and share to the whole entire world well that's enough fun for me today bye and see ya next time ah oh, so